another dangerous way that you can use a pointer is by creating a pointer and assigning it to the address of some variables so so far so good but then after a while this variable whatever it may be pointing to gets destroyed or becomes invalid or something like that the details of which we'll see a little bit later for now just take my word that it is possible to have a pointer to a certain variable which after a while this variable can be destroyed can be erased from memory like when a variable gets destroyed when a function finishes and stuff like that we'll see a little bit about that later so in such a theoretical case where my pointer was peacefully pointing to the address of some variable but then for one reason or another this variable disappeared but my pointer didn't so then what's the story with my pointer now the variable which it was pointing to is no more existing well here's the story your pointer is pretty much just as dangerous and maybe even more dangerous than a pointer that was created without assigning anything to it the similarity is that both the pointer which you didn't assign anything to it and this pointer which is currently pointing to a variable that doesn't exist anymore is that both of these pointers are pointing to an address or contain address data which is invalid and so the next time that you will try to use this pointer such as dereferencing it to get to the variable that theoretically it's pointing to which it isn't anymore and then maybe trying to do some stuff with that variable like assign it to number six or whatever from this point forward your program will have undefined behavior again the very dreaded situations we all are trying to avoid because your pointer is no longer really pointing to any variable there is nothing there because as we said the variable for some reason or another like we'll see got destroyed and doesn't live in that place in memory anymore so your pointer is pointing to a invalid place in memory which contains probably a whole bunch of garbage that was left over from before and of course as I said earlier in different videos that undefined behavior means not necessarily that your program will right away crash or something that would be pretty nice if it could crash right away the bad thing is that it probably maybe won't crash right away it will probably continue working as if everything is okay and it might seem to be working okay when really we have a major problem over here of using a variable that doesn't really exist by means of a pointer that's pointing to some invalid place in memory and it may take it may take a long time for your program to finally show and prove the fact that something is terribly wrong we have a bad pointer which is pointing to a bad place in memory having said that which is the standard rule in standard C++ if you happen to be, to be using Microsoft Visual Studio we are lucky enough that the compiler is smart the debugger is smart as we will learn about debugging later on and if you try to use such a invalid pointer you will right away crash the program or at least break the program as we will learn about in debugging so here's what you can do about this pointer which used to be pointing to some valid variable but now it's no longer pointing to a valid variable because this variable was destroyed or whatever if the variable that this pointer is pointing to gets destroyed you should probably know about that as we will see a little bit later that a variable getting destroyed only happens in situations where you should probably know about it like if a certain function returns and so all the local variables disappear etc you should probably know when a variable disappears at that point you would really like all the pointers which were pointing to that variable which now disappeared you would want to take measures of security upon all and any pointers which may be pointing to this particular variable which just got destroyed so one of two things you'd like to do to them number one you'd like to give them the number zero any variable which has a pointer pointing to it and now this variable got destroyed make sure that the pointer that was pointing to it right away gets set to the number zero so now your pointer will again be a null pointer which has the advantage that from this point forward 
if you keep testing your pointers to see if they have something in it or not, like I've shown in a diff in an earlier video, then you could have a way of protecting yourself from potentially using a pointer which is no longer pointing to valid stuff. Another thing which you could do is of course to assign this pointer to some other variable which you may have to which you might need a pointer to be pointing to it. So like if you happen to be pointing to variable x but variable x was just destroyed but it happens to be by coincidence that you need a pointer for variable y. Well, take your pointer that used to be pointing to variable x and right away assign it to the address of variable y. This is of course a lot better than just giving it zero because you can still try to dereference a null pointer and try using the stuff that theoretically should be there, which it isn't because it's null, and then your program will have undefined behavior. However, if you, you right away assign it to the address of some different variable and you're going to use that, then at least your program won't enter in an undefined behavior situation. In the worst case, you'll be using a pointer which will be changing this variable. So the rule is, never ever leave a pointer that's not actually pointing to either the address of a variable or zero. If you just created a pointer and didn't assign it to anything, that's bad. If you assigned it to something, but then that something got destroyed, that's bad. If you have a pointer and you assigned it to zero, that's a little bit better. Not the best, but it's already better. You have a way of testing your pointer to see if it's valid or not. But it still has the dangers of accidentally dereferencing it and using it. And from that point forward, you will have undefined behavior. If you have a pointer that is pointing to the address of a variable and that variable still exists, that's of course the best case and obviously the most useful case because how would a pointer be useful if it's not actually pointing to something that really exists? So you might want to try only keeping your pointers alive for as long as the variables they are pointing to will be alive. Which means you might want to try that if your variable is going to go out of scope the pointer that's pointing to it will probably also at some point over there go out of scope. Or at least you'd like to try always to always check your pointers if they don't have zero in them before using them. That's of course provided that you get into the habit of assigning zero to your pointer whenever it's in a sort of invalid situation that it's not pointing to any particular variable. Okay, now here is one way how you can have a pointer that is pointing to a variable that no longer exists. Actually, if you really want to prove to yourself that you know C++, hit the pause button on your player and think about it yourself. How can I have a pointer which is pointing to the address of a variable which somehow doesn't exist anymore. That variable went out of scope and got destroyed. How could we possibly have such a situation? As I explained in an earlier video, if I come from function A into function B, I can for sure have pointers in function B which point to variables that belong in function A. That's because I came from A to B, so anything created in A before going into B must still exist inside function A. So yes, I can have a pointer in function B which points to a valid variable existing in function A. Because the variables of function A still exist, they did not go out of scope or get destroyed. However, here is where we can run into trouble if we do it in reverse. If I create a function over here which I declared will return a pointer to type integer and in this other function I create a local variable right over here integer x and I give it 9 and then I return the address of this integer x as the return value, the pointer that gets returned and then I take the return value of this function and I assign it to a pointer in the calling function, the function where I came from, this is one case where I can have a pointer pointing to a variable 
which by now is destroyed and no longer exists.